There are a lot of ways to introduce variation into your training and changing your grip and adding weight are probably two of the first that come to mind, but changing tempo is really useful and that's been something that has personally helped me improve my pull-ups quite a bit in terms of not only rep count and movement quality, but also in terms of how much I can actually squeeze out of them. So for example, slow reps where you deliberately slow down the lifting and lowering phases of the pull-up, those are really amazing for developing control and improving your technique and breaking bad habits. They show you exactly where you're weak and where you've been cheating, and they can build comfort and strength at the end ranges of motion, and getting good at slow reps is a remedy for a variety of issues that basically just suck the efficiency and effectiveness right out of your pull-ups. So on the other hand, speed reps, where you try to move as fast and explosively as possible, those are great for building power and maximum strength. They train your nervous system to fire hard and fast, and they coordinate your body and your musculature for just maximum output. And speed reps are like, I think they're kind of like putting the finishing edge on a well-forged blade. They take all the improvements in form and technique and all the muscle you've built with other tempos and they transform it into just pure performance. And they're really effective, but they are easy to cheat. So make sure you're disciplined with your technique and form before you start messing with speed reps. And then there are of course paused reps, which you can technically layer on top of any other tempo that you're using. And pauses build joint angle specific strength. They build strength from a dead stop and in positions that you might normally rely on momentum to move through. And they give you an opportunity to correct positions where your technique starts to break down. And they're a great tool for making sure you're feeling the movement in the muscles that you want to feel it in. And I feel like pause reps have probably helped my pull-ups the most of anything I've done. They really improve the top of my pull-up. And as I got stronger at the top of the pull-up, my overall performance improved. And as that happened, my back development followed. So I found these to be particularly effective. So whether you vary your grip or not, or add load or not, changing your tempo is a legitimate way to add useful and productive variation. And you can spend some time focusing on slow reps to build control, precision, and refine your technique. And then some time on speed reps to add power and more strength to your pull-ups. And then you can add some pauses in there to further develop weak points, build positional strength, and refine your technique further. And you can dedicate either, you know, a whole block of training to a specific tempo, or you can vary it from day to day. You have a lot of options, but definitely consider throwing them in. They're super effective and they can take your training to the next level. So I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.